first of four here to start the weekend as the game's first pitch is taken and it's strike one. Fellas, you take a look at our homestanding ball club as they come into this one tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've first won pitch. just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does this team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying, starting to wind itself down. Every game is more important. The bigger the game, hopefully the better you play. And this team's been playing some really good baseball lately. One, one, one. Up the first baseline. Lavarnway takes it in and he'll take this to the bag himself and there's your first out of the ball game and with that here's a look at the visitors starting lineup Nero what do you got in this lineup in the series opener yeah Maddie this team poses a lot of problems offensively this is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways not only do they have power in the middle of the order but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense into the box now, Julio Blanco. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no Julio. surprise that he hits better against Blanco. southpaws than he does against right-handers. First pitch of the at-bat. Fouled away. Blanco is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. To the left side, but it's well fouled. Strike three called. Nasty screwball there for out number two. So coming to the plate, Jim Sandoval. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Sandoval. Here's the first pitch to him. Break. Up, up. That is this one's popped up. Lavarnway calls for it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Derek Leading Dietrich. He'll get to take his the first, first cuts here. Derek Dietrich. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. 0-1 the count. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Ah. Right there at the belt, one and two now. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. He'll throw down to first, one away. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And let's take a look at outfielder Bradley Zimmer. Can't say it enough, hybrid. But he's going to profile as a center fielder for me. And what's scary, he's coming at you 6'4", 6'5", but speeds his number one tool with a strong and accurate arm. 
So digging in now, Brian Chung. Yeah, and as you take a look at the, the splits catcher. here, he's actually Brilliant. better against right-handed yeah. pitching this season. First delivery to him on the way. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Zero. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball, he's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. So he sets him down swinging. Brian Chung goes down for out number two in the top half. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Batting six. The right fielder, number six. That'll Phillip. bring in Philip Irvin. Irvin. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Yeah. And he takes strike two. I, got count. Oh, I just think three. after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that gets down Relay. and ought to be good go. for extra right bases. Relay. Two, two, two. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Batting seven. In now, Peter baseman. Morey. Peter. No balls and a strike Morey. to count. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The 0 1 offering. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at 1 and 1. Zero. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1 and 2. Irvin at second with two down. Into the corner and slicing foul. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. And now is the Stanford product, Alex Blandino. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this Alex one. Blandino. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Zimmer. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Riding in Blake Trahan and he's a Got guy looking to break out the in a big stop. way hasn't Number been getting 51. the results he or his club have been hoping for ready to deliver here's the first pitch here's a blooper out toward left center Velasquez ranging into the outfield he gets there and that's the second out.
Now at the plate, Roscoe Devine. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Roscoe last time. Devine. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. The 1-0 home. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Zimmer, but it's down as that drops in for a two-out single. So the two-out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes, Dan. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Now back. Into the box, the Julio Blanco Julio. in the dirt here. Blanco. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Divine, the runner at first with two gone. The 1-1. One, one. Right, three. right side. Three, and three, that is into three. right field, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back-to-back two-out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going on the board. Now batting. Designated Standing hit. in now, Jim yeah. Sandoval, as Sandoval. he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Knight has a play and that's the third out so it's no runs on two hits no errors and two men left stranded we'll head now to the home half of inning number three and we are tied nothing nothing Now in the box, Derek Dietrich. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Derek. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. 2 and, oh. and the screwball misses the plate away, and it's 2-0. and oh. Now the 2-0. Oh. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one gone to lead off the inning. Solo shot to right center. Home run number nine on the year. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Boy, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. Stepping in now, the Brian catcher, Chung. 17. Brian Just Chung. lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fastball called for strike two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. 
Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box now, now Philip Irvin. The right fielder. Phillip. As he'll go after the first Irvin. pitch and bounce it into foul territory. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Here it comes. What, what, a bouncer what? up the middle. Velasquez is there in time to first, and there are two away. Digging in, Peter Mori. He looked to bounce back Go after deep. striking out his last Peter. time up. Yeah, in today's Maury. game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish, this A.B. Strike one to start the at-bat. Good curveball that time in the low 80s. Nothing in two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Two strike pitch is chopped foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Maine has it in his tracks, and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on the solo home run as that'll give them the lead. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The bats lead it one to nothing. Digging in now, Thomas Knight. He'll lead Over things Clippers. off here in this one-run contest. Thomas Knight. First offering on its way. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Knight, a California-born ball player, is looking like a near lock at this point to make the All-Star game this year. He's currently the leading vote-getter in the league at catcher. Yeah, Maddie, not surprised this guy is on the top of the All-Star game voting, but you have to take a step back. This is being voted on by the fans, so I can't imagine how he feels to be voted in by his fans to start in the All-Star game right now. The 2-1. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Ready now. Bradley Zimmer reached the base via fielder, the walk in his first four, plate appearance. Bradley Zimmer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well-executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. Sent on the ground out to second. Blandino's got it. On to first, and there were two down. Riding into the box, number 64 comes into number this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater, and this guy is obviously sitting something else. 
Two out, nobody on. Ball and one. he takes this one high, one and one. Ball, one strike. To one and two now. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Gil Medeiros would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. He loses him on ball four. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Stepping in, Gil Medeiros. Man at first after the two-out walk. Gil. Madero. First pitch on its way. One and it looked like the fastball got away from him there. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. The 1-0. -oh. Finds the zone, strike one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Now the one and one pitch. Pops this one up. Prahan into shallow left. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. On to the top of inning number five we go. Louisville's out in front here, one to nothing. Digging in, Alex Blandino. 0 for 1 Leading for him here in this one. The second baseman, Alex Blandino. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Strike taken up in the zone. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Ring him up on the screwball, and that's the first down of the inning. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Now batting, number 51. Into the box, Blake Trahan. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Here now the two two. Doesn't hit the target it's ball three. 
It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Now the payoff pitch home. Popped him up. LaVarnway in foul ground, and he brings it in on the warning track. Now to the plate, Roscoe Devine. He singled his last time Left up. Fielder. Roscoe Devine. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Swing and a looper to left. Maine on the move. He can't get to it. This one's down. Ready for another shot now. Julio Blanco. Now batting. The center fielder. Julio Blanco. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. The 0 1 on its way. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Zimmer. And that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. The bats lead it one to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Ryan LaVarnway, as we move past the halfway the point in this one and begin the bottom Ryan. of the fifth. LaVarnway. Here comes the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. There you go, make Just a turn. Just with launch Have angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. The batter, number two, designated hitter. Standing Elvis. in now, Elvis Pineda, as he will take strike one on the fastball on here. No balls and a strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the 0-1. Ball, ball one. LaVarnway gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Another 1-2 delivery. Now that's popped up. Dietrich is under it and he's got it for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Giancarlo Third Garlobo. Basement. He'll try to follow Giancarlo. up the double in his last Garlobo. at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. In for a strike, it's 1-1. One and one. Yeah. 
He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Now the 2-1 is two strike ball. two swinging. Two balls, two strikes. Still even at two and two. Another 2-2 two -two offering. And another foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. The second for one. Relayed to Dietrich, and they turn the double play. That's how the inning comes to a close. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Five innings complete. Louisville's out in front here, one to nothing. Standing in, Jim Sandoval. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out yeah. in foul territory. Sandoval. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Hit on the ground to third. Garlobo is up with it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. will stride in again and you can bet he'd love to now do again it. what he did the back in the man. fourth a Derek. solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far infield shifted well to the right here's the first pitch good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike one out, nobody on. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0-2. Oh, on, on the line toward third. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep the down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and right. it just wasn't meant to be. Oh. And he gets ahead 0-1. Swung on and missed that strike two. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on the defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Now batting. And now Cooper. Philip Irvin Phillip. as he lifts it in the air Irvin. to right field. Moving under it, Blanco. And the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Heart of the order, three, four, and five coming up. The bats lead it one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Miguel Blanco. Well, and they'll need him to get the something right going here. Miguel. Blanco. And the pitch. Oh. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Hey. 
strike. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Nope. Fastball just missed above the zone. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Well, oh, he just threw that fastball by him. Oh, man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. High in the air down the right field line. Irvin is after it. And he makes the catch in the corner. So here's the cleanup hitter, Russell the Main. He flew out in his last at bat. Russell Main. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls in one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Now this is swung out, and here's another fly ball out to right field. In there, the base hit. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. Now batting, the catcher, Thomas. Knight. Stepping in now, Thomas Knight, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. The 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one. is a fastball down below the knees. One strike. The 2-1 runs a bit inside for a ball. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. He's set and the three and one pitch. Nope. And he lays ball off four. here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far. But after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. At the plate, Bradley Zimmer, as he'll look to now bring home that tying run from the second with a base hit into the outfield. Bradley Zimmer. First delivery to him on the way. Line on, toward he's center going, field. He's going, he's going. And that's in there. Base hit. Maine is on his way home. Safe at the plate. We're all square and one apiece. Nice piece of hitting right there. That Kept his shoulders right square, there. his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Now here comes the skipper out of the third base dugout, and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility, meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Your Carlo attention, Diaz please. takes the mound to now try to get out of this movable. mess. There are Number two on with only one away. Carlo Diaz.
now batting number 64 into the box number 64 batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one it was a walk in his last trip swing and a liner and that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line the run scores from second. It's now a two to one ball game. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Rory. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through 50. in a big spot. Second baseman. Standing in now, Gil, Gil Medeiros, Medeiros fouled off. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. <laughs> Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The Clippers are hanging on to a narrow lead, but this game has been a battle fought between two very good ball clubs. Guys, what's at stake in the bigger picture for these two clubs? Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And he will score from third. A daring move as he scores on what ought to be called a wild pitch. Three runs already home here. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here's another 2-2. Lifted in the air to center go, field. Go halfway, get halfway Moving here. under it, Blanco makes the play, and there are two gone now. Stepping in, Ryan LaVarnway. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Ryan. Love Barnway. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. No. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Oh. 1 and 1 the count. Diaz has pitched just under 60 innings and over those innings he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3 so he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base paths. Here's the 1 1. Fouled off again and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Velasquez stands at second with two gone. Grounded weakly standing, to the left. Standing, right here. On to deep trick at first, and that'll end the inning. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. The Clippers lead it three to one. Leading off the inning, Peter Morey, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even Peter. though we're moving into the back end Morey. of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit ball two, to short. Two, 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 and that's through into left. So a leadoff no single runner, here to start right the there, seven. It. 
In now, Alex Blandino. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? The well, I base. think they have to go right Alex. after him. He's pretty Blandino. unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. First pitch on its way. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. This is the bugaboo on the offensive side. You want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen. But when you find yourself 0-1 every time, hitting becomes even more difficult. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3-1 to one our score. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. The batter, number 51. Into the box now, Blake Trahan. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. Popped him up. Garlobo has room in foul territory, and he brings it in on the warning track. Now back to the top of the lineup, the stepping in, Roscoe 20. Devine. Roscoe. Two hits and three at bats for him Goodbye. in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And the first pitch is chopped foul right at home plate at strike one. Two out with the man at first. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Swing hits softly on the ground. And after that head scratcher, everybody's going to be safe. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, d -Row? Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Skipper out of the dugout, making the slow trek to the mound. And he's going to motion for You're his bullpen here. That'll do it for the Alpha starter tonight. Number so he'll leave with the lead. Can't Bill. lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Stepping into the box, Julio Blanco and... Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point Julio. in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring Blanco. one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball, Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. The and ball. they'll turn to the slider here, Alfred and it Bill just Bill. misses. Two and one now. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Three and one now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. The three and one pitch into center field, and that's going to get down four, for a base four, hit. Four. 
And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Boy, this is a big inning, Bruin. How about back-to-back-to-back -back -back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking now the batting. donut off your Definitely bat on the on-deck circle and yeah. realizing all the pillows the are ball. taken right now. Major traffic. You got to stay within yourself, not try and do too much, and get a pitch in your zone. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. With runners on base, two outs and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses one and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. From the stretch, the one-two. Didn't get on top of the sinker at all. If that's what it was trying to be, it stayed high. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. One, Hit out one, towards one. second. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw in time, so a good pitch there gets him out of the bases loaded jam. So they load the bases on three hits but can't bring anyone around to score. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Columbus is out in front, three to one. So striding forward now, Leading Elvis Pineda. He'll start things out the here in the bottom hitter. of inning number seven. Elvis Pineda. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a line drive. Boy, find the ball. He gets find the dirty, ball. But he can't get there and it's into center field. Oh, and he misses it. He'll get it into second and he's safe. So a struggle that time for him in center field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Digging in to now try it again. Third Giancarlo baseman. Garlobo. Giancarlo Garlobo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hey. And he takes a cold strike one. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. And it's fouled away. Pineda leads off second with nobody out. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. From the stretch. 
There's ball four. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Digging in, Miguel Blanco. Now batting, right fielder, Miguel Blanco. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball just missed above the zone. This game is getting interesting real quick. And the last thing you want to do on the mound is fall behind. Needs to get back in the strike zone right here. And a good pitch, but he gets quite a lot of it. And, in fact, he got more than a lot of it. He got all of it. It's a home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Number 13 for him on the year. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Well, with no outs, you can afford to give up a single, but you can't afford to give up a three-run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs, and the inning is already an ugly one. Ladies Lucas and Sims You're comes on now, please. and he'll take over with now nobody out in inning Louisville. number seven. Number 39, Lucas Sims. The batter stepping the in now fielder. Russell Maine Russell as he'll take Maine. a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one he's two for three and looking for more here oh one here's the pitch fouled away in there for a base hit his third hit of the game Ooh, smoke out. hey zero not a bad night three singles but hey you'll take three for four every day of the week yeah in today's day and age Dan where everything's a home or a walk or a strikeout it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits the catcher number 14 Thomas Knight. And now Thomas Knight as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Nope. Missed low and inside with it. 1 and 1. And this one's in the dirt. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Well, when a reliever comes in a game, he always wants to make a big impression. But I don't think uncorking a wild one was what he had in mind. Sometimes it takes a reliever a little bit of time to be comfortable on the mound out there. So we'll see if he can settle in. No one out with a runner at second. That's popped up. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Maine ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate. And it's now a six run lead. And that'll bring in the San Diego product, Bradley the Zimmer. Fielder, number four, Bradley Zimmer. He's set. Here it comes. Ball Didn't one. quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Sims. 
Rutgers, 24 years of age. He was selected in the first round during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. The 2-0. 3-0 oh, oh now. Four runs here in this half inning. That one's in there, three and one. He's set. Here's the three one. Fielded oh, cleanly to second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Now Standing in now, number, number 64. 64 as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing and one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they score four times on four hits, one error, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. The Clippers lead it 7-1. to one. At the plate, Derek Dietrich. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. First pitch on its way. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. The Clippers have shown us why they're the division leaders here today. What kind of message does this send to the opposing club? You, you know, D-Row, we're getting to this point of the season, right about the no midway ball. point. And they're starting to show signs why they flex their muscles there in first place. And it looks like they're going to be a tough team to run down. I agree with you, Dan. No secret here. Tough lineup, good pitching staff. Manager knows how to control a bullpen. This is a tough team to beat. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. There's a look at the inning by inning recap. Seven to one our score as we play the eighth inning of this one. Coming to the plate now, Brian Chung. Three the at catcher, bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Chung. Pitch on the way. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Good heater to strike him out there, and he looks absolutely locked in to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back punch outs on only six pitches. The right fielder, number six, Philip Irvin. 
Into the box now, Philip Irvin. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. The 1-0 oh. is looked at for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. The 2-1 home is taken for strike two. Fly ball right down the line and left. Maine sprinting after it. And he makes the catch in the corner. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Columbus is out in front, seven to one. Your Bobby please. Roman comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better Louisville. results than the Number other 26. arms that they've run out there Bobby. in this one. Roman. So stepping in, Gil Medeiros. He'll get things started Leading now in the bottom Clifford. of inning number eight. The second baseman, Gil Medeiros. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. One and one. Ball, one strike. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. Lined hard toward right center. Blanco is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now Into batting. the box, Ryan LaFarnway. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. Roman has tossed over 30 innings so far this season, and through those innings, he's posted a whip a little under 1.5. Certainly something he'd like to improve on. The windup and the 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. Blandino's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Next will be the designated hitter, Elvis no Spineda. He's two, two for four in the ball designated game. Designated hitter, Elvis Spineda. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. A ball That's and no ball. strikes. Two out, nobody on. And a strike to even the count. One and one. The 1-1 one, one home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. The 1-2. One, is a fastball taken high for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. He stays alive, still two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. 
I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. Heading out towards shallow right. Irvin on the move, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. I'm sure the boys on the bench appreciate that A.B. right there. Grinded out an eight-pitch at bat and was able to be successful and deliver a hit for the team. Now batting, third baseman, Giancarlo. In now, Giancarlo Garlobo, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Some guys have no trouble hitting with two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. Let's see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe choke up and try and work the ball back up the middle the other way. Nope. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Pineda leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Irvin has it in his tracks. And that's the third out. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full. The Clippers lead it 7-1. to one. Anthony Farrell please. comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the Number top of the ninth. Five. Anthony Farrell. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Leading Peter Mori, and they'll the need him to get something going Peter here. Mori. First pitch of the at bat, and we kick Peter. off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Farrell utilizes a good curveball as a part of his arsenal, but it's not just your run of the mill breaking ball, it's unique in that he's able to throw it with great velocity, a power curve, if you will. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Stepping into the box, Alex Blandino. The He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Alex Blandino. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Inside Way ball inside ball. with that one, a pretty easy take there. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at, guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. One out, nobody on. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Here it is, the 3-0. Too oh. high, and that cost him ball four. Riding in once again, Blake Trahan. Now he could it. really use a knock Number here 51. 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. 
Breaking ball drops oh, right in the shoot for a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. A ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. And he got him. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Now batting, left fielder. Roscoe. Stepping in now, Roscoe Devine. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. The 0-1 pitch, and oh, one and one as this one's in on the hands. A runner on first with two away. Two and one. One strike. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And this one is gone. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as it's now a 7-3 game. Wow, there's a case of a ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. Now batting, the center fielder. Julio. Standing in now, Julio Blanco. Blanco oh, as he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. The 1-0. One, -oh. one ball, one strike to count. And he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States. But what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Columbus Clippers put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Phil Jamison with his fourth win this season. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Clippers, seven runs on 12 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.